All eyes are on the highly awaited return of Sigma to one of the biggest gaming markets worldwide, Latin America. From the 23rd till the 25th of April, Sigma, together with BIS, will be making its comeback to Sao Paulo in Brazil. I, Maria De Brincat, your host, present to you an episode brought to you by the FEXA. Join us as we embark on a journey to uncover the excitement brewing in the heart of Latin America's gaming industry. For those who couldn't make it, let's start by taking a closer look at what went down last year. Welcome to Brazil. After our successful digital conference a few years back, we are thrilled to be here for the Sigma Americas 2023. Follow me inside and let's have a look at what's going on. Our first guest feature, we've invited a distinguished guest, esteemed John Aquilina, Brazil's ambassador for Malta. During his last visit to Malta, he joined us here all the way from Brazil in the studio. Mr. John Aquilina, welcome. Thank you. Delighted to be here. So, Mr. John Aquilina, this is our second time in Brazil. You've been there with us for the first time. How do you think that Sigma being present in Brazil is evolving when it comes to the gaming industry in general? How is it helping to keep the gaming industry evolving? Well, it's all about visibility, isn't it? It's about being present on site. It's about uh, being seen and uh, being able to connect with people. And that is why I was so keen to be involved with the first Sigma conference in, uh, in Brazil last year in June in Sao Paulo. I went there uh, re really knowing what to expect, to be honest. Um, it was a, a very quick introduction for me with, to Sigma and to what uh, Sigma was able to present. But I was absolutely astounded. I mean, I, I walked into that conference hall and it was just buzzing with excitement. Um, I was pleased to see so many companies uh, that had uh, Malta bases there. And I thought, great, you know, these are Maltese companies or at least companies that have a base in Malta getting a, a foothold here in Brazil and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the displays and the technology and the, the whiz and buzz that was going around was just absolutely fantastic. I, I actually couldn't stop. I spent a whole day just going around from place to place. Met with some people I recognised or people who recognised me and uh, stopped to talk and, and discuss things. And I thought, yes, this has really got potential. This is great. And of course, Brazil being such a big country, um, right in the middle of Latin America, uh, it's, it's a focus actually for a lot of other Latin American countries as well. And it was good to see as I walked around the, uh, uh, the, the hall, so many um, uh, pavilions there being set up by uh, other Latin American countries, not just Brazil countries, but um, Argentina, Venezuela, um, Bolivia. Um, th th they were there. They were there in large numbers. And I thought, this is good because here's this little country of Malta out in the middle of the Mediterranean, so far away, and it's making such a huge impact here in this uh, vast continent. And uh, as a, a new ambassador in Brazil, as the first ambassador of Malta to Brazil, in fact, the first ambassador of Malta to Latin America, um, I was really excited to be able to, to join in and be part of this focus. 
especially during this time that Brazil is going through this um, evolvement when it comes to gaming as well. What do you see as some of the key challenges and uh, um, challenges that the, the companies setting up there are facing as we speak? Well, one of the challenges, of course, is, be- is the fact that the uh, Brazilian legislation is still so very new. I mean, it was only passed in December of last year. So people are still coming to terms with that. I mean, there have been many editorials and many commentaries written already. But uh, as they say, um, uh, you know, the the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So we don't really know how it's going to shape up until it actually starts putting it into practice and how the uh, once the uh, legislation is put into practice. But that's an exciting period as well because uh, it's uh, it's a great opportunity to be there on the ground level. Uh, in terms of shaping how the legislation is going to uh, be enacted and how it's going to uh, face up and over the short term and also on the long term basis. So yeah, I mean, I, um, I'm excited from two perspectives. One in the sense that uh, Malta is still very new in, in Brazil, very new in Latin America. As, as I said before, I'm the first ambassador of Malta to Brazil and the first Lat- ambassador of Malta to Latin America. But secondly, also that uh, that a, a significant company like Sigma has now got a great opportunity to play such a dominant role in terms of shaping the enactment of the legislation as it evolves in Brazil. When it comes to the technological advancements showcased during the event, do you think that these can contribute in some way or another to the innovation of Brazil's gaming industry? Well, look, the gaming industry, uh, the online gaming industry, is the is at the forefront of technological advancement. Uh, you know, the the digital um, the digital advancement of uh, this this kind of industry is just outstanding. And really, I I think it's very difficult to predict how it's all going to evolve because whatever the predictions are, the reality ends up being far more. It actually far uh, out. Um, our classes, what the predictions are, and it's very difficult to to really be able to plan in detail ahead because inevitably, whatever we plan, we're going to show fault of fall short of whatever the reality is. So I have great hopes for the future for this. I have great hopes for the future in terms of uh, the technological advancement in terms of uh, the the links that it's going to provide um, internationally and also the great opportunities it's going to provide for Malta. This year Sigma is also celebrating its 10th year anniversary. How do you think that Sigma has progressed these past 10 years, especially when it comes to an international level, to reaching new continents, to reaching new heights? Well, goodness me, I mean, um, how long is a piece of string? It's very, very hard to put a measure on all of that, isn't it? I said it from the outset that, um, you know, with, uh, with predictions into the future, it's very difficult to predict because no matter what we predict, uh, the reality is going to outpace the predictions. I'm sure that when Sigma started out 10 years ago, no one, no one in their right mind would have anticipated that Sigma would have grown so big and so, and to be so expansionist as what it has been. So, um, you know, if one was to gauge by the experiences of the last 10 years and project that into the next 10 years and exponentially how much more that is going to accelerate in terms of advancement, um, really, the, the sky's the limit. I mean, it, it's so hard to be able to predict. All I know is that success is uh, a very, very big S as far as this is concerned. It's going to go a long, long way. And uh, I think, um, yeah, sure, think big, think expansionist, think successful, and it's all going to happen. From my end, I would really like to thank you for joining us today, for taking your time to come visit our office in Malta. Um, and we are really looking forward to welcoming you again at our show in São Paulo in April. Well, um, you don't need to thank me. Let me thank you. Let me thank Sigma for giving you this opportunity. Let me thank uh, uh, the, the company for uh, providing me with this window to to the public out there to be able to, to show and to illustrate what we want to achieve and how we're going about achieving it. And also uh, to let people know that I'm here available, as I said from the outset, 
I'm here to connect the dots. I, I don't want to be involved in the business, but I do want to be involved in promoting Malta and promoting business for Malta. Joining us now is Olga Lutz. She's the CBDO of the FEXA. The FEXA provides various payment solutions in B2B and B2C areas, aiming to facilitate global business growth through borderless, instant and low-cost fiat and crypto transactions. Olga is here to enlighten us on the motivations behind the FEXA's participation at this year's event. She will also shed light on what their company hopes to achieve through their presence at Biz Sigma Americas. Welcome, Olga. It's a pleasure to have you joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so let's start off with the first question, Olga, that I really want to ask you is what are the FEXA's primary objectives for participating in this event as an exhibitor? So first of all, we participated Sigma to meet with, directly offline with our key partners and with our merchants and clients. And I can tell you that Sigma works really good for business opportunities with loads of new and existing clients. So we had very good experience in previous conferences. And secondly, uh, we are not standing still and are constantly evolving. So Defexa is adding new payment methods and implementing innovative solutions for various businesses around the world. And at Sigma, we can inform our audience about it directly, so face to face. That's why we are going to join you there. <laughs> and what are the specific products, um, Olga, that, that Defexa will be showcasing during this event? I mean, how are these offerings going to cater specifically to the Brazilian market? So we are going to present Defexa B2B platform that allows merchants to accept payments transfer and exchange crypto and fiat currencies in a single ecosystem. And actually, Defexa provides payment solutions to grow your business globally with borderless instant and low-cost fiat and crypto transactions. And for our uh, global expansion, we have not only Canadian company with MSB license, but we also have several companies like licensed European companies, UK AMIS, and also companies in Hong Kong. And so we can uh, provide our clients uh, not only in these countries, but also in Brazil to enter new markets too. We are going to build a complete Web3 ecosystem for banking services, which will offer our clients pull solutions with IBAN's accounts, card acquiring, etc. I suppose it will be very interesting for existing and new clients in Brazil and also for our partners. For sure. And maybe with this question, I want you to give me a little bit of tips and tricks to all the other exhibitors there. But how do you plan to leverage your presence at Sigma Americas to enhance your brand visibility, to attract potential clients, to attract potential partners? What are your plans? So. First of all, you should come to our booth. Our booth is now. <laughs> yes. So we have the bar there, but also, of course, we have um, visual elements of our booth will help also to create a uh, lasting impression on our attendees and reinforce our brands in their minds. And also we have prepared merch gifts also for our clients and friends and uh, other, uh, I mean, attenders of the exhibitions with the new design. So, and of course, uh, we will announce uh, our presence at Sigma on LinkedIn. So uh, this way, the attendants will be able to book a meeting with Defexa directly via the link. And Olga, how does Defexa perceive the current landscape of the payment market in Brazil? And what opportunities or challenges do you anticipate, not just with your um, participation at the event, but also in general with the market itself? So uh, this is, uh, we have some great news that we have acquired a local uh, company in Brazil, which is a licensed payment institution. And this way, we are going to provide direct access to PIX payments uh, to, with a very low cost. 
and also the highest conversion rate on the market. And our advantages are also connected with the new regulations for betting in Brazil, because Sigma is more for gambling and betting clients. So for companies that wish to operate in the Brazilian market absolutely legally, this is essential to work only with licensed payment institutions. And our company is prepared in this case, according to the new law, and uh, provides the security of our merchants. Lastly, uh, Olga, to close off, you've said before that this is not your first time exhibiting with us at Sigma. Do you have any success stories or maybe some notable achievements that the FIXA has experienced as a result of participating in Sigma events in the past? Sure. So, for example, at Sigma in Dubai, we have met uh, directly with the potential partners with whom it was not easy to connect online. And we started successfully working with them together. So we have signed agreements and uh, really there was a great success there because, you know, the human factor, it is crucial for the success and sustainability of the businesses. And um, Sigma really unites people together. It unites people from different countries, from different areas of business. And uh, there is always an incredible and friendly atmosphere there. Thank you for this. Olga, thank you so much. We're looking forward to welcoming you at our event Sigma Americas coming up in Brazil very, very soon. And we look forward to seeing you and the rest of the team there. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. As we delve into the vibrant world of Sigma Americas, we are thrilled to introduce two Brazilian influencers who have captivated millions with their compelling content. Hailing from Brazil, they are none other than Negrete and Ronald Lopez, each boasting a staggering following that reaches far and wide across social media platforms. They will also be present at this event in Sao Paulo. Let's explore this further. Olá, pessoal. Eu sou Scarlett, repórter da Sigma, e a gente pode saber mais agora sobre é, esse ganho de 4 milhões de seguidores. É, como é que foi para você essa mudança de, 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 de cenário, né, de ser conhecido e de estar influenciando 4 milhões de pessoas? Eu digo que eu sou a mesma pessoa se eu não tivesse esses 4 milhões. Sou uma pessoa normal, procuro levar alegria aonde passo. Se não existisse o Instagram, as redes sociais, se você me conhecesse, eu ia ser essa mesma pessoa. Então, isso para mim é um, é um motivo de muita alegria de poder mostrar para as pessoas o quanto o simples é, é gratificante. Você poder chegar em casa, ajudar seu pai ajudar sua mãe, eu que vim de uma família muito humilde, então o meu pai e minha mãe, eles sempre esteve comigo eu já era assim, minha família já era assim sorridente, antes da antes de, de, de tudo acontecer antes dessa virada de chave então, se hoje eu estou colendo isso aqui é minha família, sabe meu pai, minha mãe, as pessoas que estão comigo, hoje tem uma, uma gestão que que cuida da minha carreira, que é, eu não tenho palavras, que é a Lobby Esporte, que é do Brasil, o Bernardo, que é o meu, eu não falo um empresário, mas eu falo um pai, é, o, é um dos meus melhores amigos. É, Para mim é um motivo de muita alegria representar o meu país. É legal ser um grande embaixador de, 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 de marcas, mas principalmente é, levar alegria para as pessoas e tornar um, um influente do homem. É, como é que está sendo essa experiência né, com a gente aqui no evento, em Dubai? É, fala um pouquinho assim, sobre... Para mim está sendo muito incrível, Scarlett, de verdade, de poder estar tá vivendo isso tudo, de poder estar tá aqui na Sigma. É, talvez pode, possa ser minha primeira e última vez, mas... Que venham outras pessoas melhores. Espera que não, né? A gente espera que não. <risos> não, mas é, eu desejo para que outras pessoas também consigam, que cresçam, que mostrem o seu trabalho. E a Sigma me deu essa oportunidade e para mostrar para o mundo que acreditou. E espero que ano que vem seja aqui de novo, mas se eu não estiver para ser, para ser o vencedor, eu esteja aqui para aplaudir a pessoa. Que, que recebeu esse prêmio. Então, 
para mim é um motivo de muita alegria mesmo, sabe? Da onde eu vim, é, a realidade é um pouco diferente, pouco não, bastante diferente, mas é legal, é, é muito é gratificante mesmo eu estar aqui e saber que que as pessoas que consomem minha arte, tipo, me fez chegar aqui, sabe? Então isso pra mim não vai ter preço, não tem, não tem, não tem, não tem preço de verdade. Obrigado pelo carinho e é nóis. Hello pessoal, eu sou Scarlett, repórter da Sigma. É, hoje a gente tá aqui com o Ronald Lopes, é, nosso influenciador brasileiro. Obrigado pela presença. É, vamos começar, então, perguntando um pouco mais sobre como foi o início da sua carreira, como foi essa transição né, de, de pessoa não conhecida para uma pessoa com dois, quase 3 milhões de seguidores no Instagram. Boa, vamos lá. Bom, primeiramente, obrigado aí pelo convite e respondendo a sua pergunta. É, foi uma parada assim bem é, disruptiva, né? Eu comecei no mercado há quatro anos e meio atrás, quando pouca gente falava sobre o mercado de iGaming no Brasil. É, Para quem não sabe, aí eu era motorista de Uber antes disso, tenho uma história de vida de bastante superação, assim, cresci numa origem bem pobre mesmo e depois as coisas foram melhorando graças a esse mercado. Então, tudo começou como uma brincadeira, assim, eu um dia postei um print de uma bet que eu fiz no meu story, muita gente começou a se interessar por aquilo, muita gente era tipo 10 pessoas, assim, <risos> ah, naquela época, mas eu identifiquei que aquilo tinha uma oportunidade das pessoas quererem entender mais sobre isso, então eu comecei a estudar sobre marketing digital, comecei a me aprofundar e comecei a investir meu tempo, minha energia nisso. Deu muito certo, porque era pouquíssimo falado, como eu falei, então eu peguei ali um, um oceano azul, vamos dizer assim, de oportunidades. E graças a Deus deu tudo muito certo, a gente cresceu bastante. E basicamente assim, foi esse, esse momento assim, que tudo começou a acontecer na minha vida em relação ao mercado de iGaming. Depois, obviamente, veio tudo o que aconteceu, cresceu muito a empresa, agora a gente, recentemente, nosso grupo foi vendido né, para uma companhia no Brasil, para um grupo grande no Brasil, e a gente está aí alcançando voos cada vez maiores. É, e fala um pouquinho sobre o que você está achando da experiência de estar tá aqui na Sigma Dubai 2024. O que, que você está achando? O que, que você pode estar tá falando agora para a galera? Bom, é meu segundo ano né, na Sigma aqui de Dubai. É, eu, assim, é um dos eventos que eu mais gosto, porque também Dubai em si é um lugar de muitas oportunidades, né? então você, vocês que vêm para esse evento, vocês que ainda não conhecem, que querem vir para esse evento, eu recomendo muito, foi um evento que realmente mudou minha vida, eu falo isso, né? não só o evento daqui, mas todos os eventos da Sigma mudaram a minha vida, mas o daqui especialmente, é, você, eu falei sobre isso ontem no meu Instagram, você consegue, é, é um evento um pouco menor, né? em relação a, a Malta, por exemplo, mas é que você consegue se conectar com pessoas, pessoas de altíssima relevância talvez de uma forma mais fácil. Você está às vezes ali andando no corredor, você vê, caraca, velho, sou doido para me conectar com aquela pessoa ali, você já chega, troca uma ideia e essa receptividade né, das pessoas serem bem abertas assim para poder trocar uma ideia, para poder trocar um network mesmo, fazer esse approach assim é, é bem massa. Então eu adoro o evento aqui em Dubai, sem dúvidas, é um dos que estão marcados ali na minha agenda para vir todo ano. Perfeito, perfeito. É, seria essa mais uma pergunta minha agora, qual é a mensagem que você passaria para é, aquelas, aquelas pessoas que podem estar na dúvida se participa ou se não participa, se conhece ou se não conhece o evento da Sigma, que mensagem que você passaria para eles para né, incentivá-los que venham talvez? Sim, eu, eu penso o seguinte, para você poder crescer, para você poder avançar, você tem que se conectar com pessoas que chegaram onde você quer chegar. Então, tá aqui hoje, por exemplo, num evento onde tem empresas de afiliado, empresas que fazem o mesmo trabalho que eu faço, ou que eu quero fazer, que eu sonho em alcançar. E você poder ter a oportunidade de trocar ideia com essas pessoas, de se conectar com elas, sabe? Então, isso me faz chegar no, nos níveis que eu quero chegar. Então, se você que está vendo esse vídeo aqui, né, essa entrevista, e quer crescer, que quer avançar, que quer pô, alcançar voos ainda maiores, aí, independente do que você faça, com certeza dentro dos eventos é, é o melhor lugar para isso. né Perfeito, perfeito. Bom, obrigada pela participação. Obrigado a gente você. espera que a gente esteja juntos na, na América de 2024 é e isso. nos próximos anos. Né? É isso, o Brasil está chegando. Já já a gente está junto aí no Brasil e também nos outros eventos aí da agenda. É 
As many of you are already aware, last year marked a momentous occasion as Sigma acquired the esteemed BIS Summit in Brazil. BIS, renowned throughout Latin America for its excellence, seamlessly merged with Sigma's family, culminating in a remarkable inaugural event. Today, joining us all the way from the BIS studios in Brazil is a pivotal figure in ensuring the success of this collaboration. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Nuno Bispo, who is the head of marketing of BIS Sigma Americas, who together with the rest of our team is dedicated to shaping this event into a breathtaking success. Nuno, it's an absolute pleasure to have you with us here on our podcast. The pleasure is all mine to join you guys here, uh, to be joining you, Maria, uh, on this special edition of the podcast for the Brazilian edition. Uh, I'm thrilled with the, with this partnership, so let's keep it on. So, Nuna, how do you think that this partnership between Sigma Americas and Brazil iGaming Summit, BIS, enhanced the value preposition for attendees and participants, particularly when it comes to terms of networking opportunities and access to key industry stakeholders? Well, this joint venture of BIS uh, and Sigma, um, it really in, in enhances uh, the, the show itself and the delivery that we have for the for the exhibitors and, and the attendees. Uh, this joint venture uh, reinforces uh, not only the pioneer uh, of the Brazilian Gaming Summit team and the, the show that we created, but also uh, it also enhances the presence and the, 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 the global presence of Sigma brand uh, across the world. So uh, as for the show uh, in Brazil, uh, together with Sigma, we deliver a much more uh, prominent and um, resulting uh, platform of business, uh, enhancing in this project of, uh, of show as a whole. So uh, we are really thrilled of this partnership that we had first year, last year, and uh, we are looking forward for the next editions. Sure, and when it comes to the ongoing efforts by the Brazilian government to regulate the gaming sector, right now we know there's a lot going on. What challenges and opportunities do you foresee for stakeholders participating in the Best Sigma America Summit, particularly those interested in entering the Brazilian market? So with this regulament, regulation on course, uh, Brazil becomes the biggest uh, regulated market, market uh, as for sports betting and gambling online. So this is only for, for itself uh, a, a, a main reason to be with the eyes set on Brazil market. Also, uh, the Brazilian Gaming Summit and B Sigma Americas edition stands for uh, a major uh, opportunity being the being a one stop conference uh, for the players to to, to attend. Um, our show delivers uh, all besides the, the, the trade show and the exhibitors, um, the ecosystem uh, as a whole. The show presents uh, not only the exhibitors and the magnificent ecosystem that is exhibiting uh, on, on the trade show, but also uh, presents a lot of important leaders of the segment on the conference with the important speakers and also regulatory bodies of the government uh, now in charge of this uh, new regulation. And also, no, no, the expo floor at the Transamerica Expo is described as providing a platform for exhibitors um, to maybe forge lasting connections. Could you share more details about the types of exhibitors expected and the opportunities available for them to engage with other attendees? So in terms of... Um features that we are hosting to, to, to this year on the show uh networking is probably the main one we know that uh, event tech it's important but in the end business is about people and people like to gather together um on the show floor, but, but also having networking opportunities besides the, the show uh, the show floor. So we're presenting uh, different kinds of networking opportunities, namely the two sessions, the two uh, awarding programs that we have. So being Sigma, Sigma Awards and BIS Awards, uh, representing also the, the Brazilian uh, players. 
but no, no. Um, maintaining the existing organizational structure and the management team seems to be a key aspect of the acquisition deal. Could you elaborate on how this continuity will contribute to the success and growth of Bis Sigma Americas in the coming years? Becoming a one single show under this joint venture, not only we are uh, an exceptional and successful uh, case of a show here in Brazil, because it's not usual to have uh, two, com what would be two competitors merging together, uh, presenting one single show. But for the future of the B Sigma Americas, uh, this represents quite of a significant, quite of a significant leap to the future. Um, Sigma is the global brand, uh, leader, leader brand uh, in the gambling and sports betting uh, sector. So becoming a local, uh, together with BIS, uh, lo the local experts, uh, bec Sigma and BIS becomes uh, the global leaders for the, for the, for the segment. And uh, with this joint venture of the, the two brands becoming one single show, it definitely uh, helps and uh, gives the opportunity to the market and to the market leaders uh, to, to take part of this and especially uh, take an opportunity of, uh, of a gathering such so unique such as ours. No, no, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate all the effort that you're doing back in Brazil. Together with Sigma, we're wishing for a collaboration that keeps growing. We know that it's going to be a bigger and better event than last year. Everyone's really excited and looking forward for this.